Right, so I've obviously been struggling a bit with this Tiger Strike effect that I was getting on the paintwork, or I am getting on the paintwork, using the aerosol cans. A little bit of YouTube research suggests that it's either going to be down to moisture or temperature, or the general effect you'll get from an aerosol can, and obviously the quality of them. So I've got quite a large workshop here, it's about um, 17 foot long by about 10 foot wide. I did have my little heater on previously, obviously she's probably passed her best when I last tried to spray it, but what I've done, I uh, decided to have a go with the powder coating oven open. So this is something that I made a couple of years ago to do the powder coating on the kit car. It's a converted office cabinet that someone had previously done some work on and I've gone in afterwards and basically improved on it. It's got the original controls of the oven on the top of the cabinet, the, obviously the elements in the floor, uh, and it's now got insulation all the way around it, and the doors have been double lined as well. Uh, it works quite good for the powder coating. Obviously it does get quite warm, far better than the, the little two kilowatt wall heater that I just showed you. So I whacked it on for a couple of hours yesterday, so the old electricity meter probably went spinning around a little bit more. Whilst I was doing some other work on the uh, road car and one of the kit cars, and it generally took the, the um, chill off of this room initially, and obviously it didn't got a bit of warmth in it. I also left the aerosol cans, obviously not directly in the heat, but again to get them acclimatised to the temperature. Gave it a couple of wipes down, uh, came in here at an appropriate time, and basically used up the remainder of a can to spray this one um, top to bottom. Well, so I did like a, a, a sort of a, a drop coat first, or just to get it a bit sticky. We went back in and done this one completely top to bottom with a nice wet line, and this seemed to come out quite well. I also then did a little bit more uh, around the rest of it, and again, even these, the top surface here, considering it hasn't had a full coat, again, it came out better than the previous coats. So I let it dry for a couple of hours, uh, left the, the um, half of the oven on just to encourage it to, to dry. Came out here last night, gave it a bit more, a little bit wet and dry just to get these sort of, little bit of uh, nibbles off it again. Dried it all out, left it in the garage overnight. I come back out again. I've just hung it up again on the makeshift hangers that's on the roof struts. Gave it another wipe down with the paint prep stuff. I'm going to turn the oven on, let it heat up again uh, for another couple of hours or so. Take the temperature off. It's, it's dry, so obviously I've been waiting around for days where it's not going to be raining. There's not too much moisture in the air. Uh, obviously being in the middle of winter or first of January it's actually going to be a little bit um, cold but yeah this actually works quite well it's obviously getting nice and red and then white hot so yeah you dry the air out uh, heat up the canister to a certain degree come in here and try and give it a final tack down again and then give it another go so I would like to think that these are the last cans I'm going to use and hopefully get a good condition uh, coat on it if not I have actually got some satin black single coat uh, normal professional spray stuff I can try in the um, spray gun that I picked up. Obviously I haven't got the spray booth no more so obviously we'll get quite a bit of overspray so I'd rather try and get it done with the aerosol if I can do but if not it'll give me an opportunity to practice my paint spraying skills again. Not quite sure if I'll do it in here. Um, yeah because obviously it's a little bit dusty in here. I managed to control it enough with the aerosol but I'm not sure how it will react with the full blown spray gun. So yeah let's see what happens this afternoon or later on today once I get this done. And I'll report back later. Well, I'm not going to count my chickens just yet, but hanging up there, um, obviously it looks like it's come out okay. <clears throat> I did leave the oven on for at least an hour and a half. Got it probably, uh, well, quite warm, not not uh, excessive, not sweating warm, but quite warm in here. Obviously with the aerosols, uh, that's where the other one, the spare one that I've been using now is up there. Came in here, done the last tack, um, made sure it was okay. I noticed I was still a little bit thin where I've been uh, sitting on a surface. There was a little bit of paint loss on the inside of this edge here. And where I gave it a light rub down, there was also a bit of paint loss around here. So I made sure I put some on there straight away. And I did actually do have the can a lot closer to the um, paintwork or the body that I would normally have so only about sort of four inches away just to try and make sure I was getting a nice wet coat you know loads and loads of overlap on the on the different um, sweeps so you know, the wet line has obviously come down you can see with the wet line you're creating sort of drifts down a little bit hard to see on the other side because there's not a lot of light on the, the far side of the nose cone but I'm um, hoping it went quite well uh, went over it um, yeah, a few times obviously done the bottom edge first of all 
went all the way around the, the inner lip here to try and make sure I had plenty of paint on there as well. And then she tackled this side all the way down. The uh, Watching some guy on, one of the guys I follow on YouTube, he did say that with aerosol cans, rather than try and do the a large size of a panel, just try and sort of concentrate and maybe like a nine inch square. So I did exactly the same there, worked my way down. Uh, I was a little bit concerned that the other spray came around here would make this a little bit rough to the touch. I haven't actually touched it yet, so I don't know if it doesn't, it looks okay. It was definitely the dry spots that I think were causing me the issues. And then obviously did the other side, and then straight away when you do this side, you, you think you've got some overspray over here. So I've sort of um, done around the far edge and then come back around again, done up and down, literally on both sides here. So I'm not saying it's going to be perfect, but I do think this is the best I've got it so far. I think that there is just, a, that's actually just a, the yellowy sort of effect there is just mainly the actual um, labelling on the welding regulator or welding bottle. So I'm hoping. So once I get this down, I'm going to leave it up for another maybe an hour or so because I did put lots of paint on. Um, yeah, good two or three coats on it. So I want to make sure I don't leave any fingerprints in it when I do pick it up. And then I'm hoping we put it down. That's going to be the best effort I've done so far. And I have to discuss that with the owner as to whether he's happy with that. Uh, I've got, I'd say, the rest of one can, wherever it's gone. And obviously that one there. Um, but I might cut my losses and we'll see how it gets on when it's dry. So let's have a little look later on.